Now, Anna Leeds is a member, is a Social Democrat member of the European Parliament. He returned uh, from Diyarbakir just this week. Welcome to DW. Um, Thank you very much. First, I suppose your, your reaction uh, initially to this morning's reaction, which the Governor's Office uh, said had been claimed by the PKK. Yeah, it was incredible to see that in the morning that uh, people I've met, like the leader of the HDP last Sunday, uh, has been uh, taken uh, into hostage now from the government. Uh, and the, the, this morning's bombing? Yeah, the, the bombing was incredible uh, to see. Um, it's difficult to say what is the result of what, but what we've foreseen in the situation is uh, that there's uh, now a spiral of violence really taking place. And I'm very concerned about that and hope uh, that uh, peace talks will remain. But first of all, the government has to change its situation. Over 28 local governments, mayors were taken out of office. And therefore, um, the whole uh, situation on the scene is very shaky. Mm. So today's bomb attack follows the, the arrest that, that you just mentioned there of 12 uh, politicians. Um, the government says these people who were arrested refused to cooperate with a counter-terrorist operation. Does that sound reasonable? Well, it's very strange to me that uh, the government takes everything under the terror threat. Journalists, academics... Well, it's, it's factually accurate, aren't they? There, 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 there is uh, a, um, a terror investigation. These people did refuse to cooperate. Well, you mean the people who have been taken hostage yes. like, overnight? I mean, when the, you mean the politicians yes. from the HDP? Yeah. Well, you know, they have been uh, uh, taken into hostage now by the, the government. And so I wonder what you mean by uh, if they cooperated on that. Well, I suppose my question really is, this, Turkey is a country which has just suffered a coup, right? right? It, it's, it's now um, being ruled by decree by the president. Um, so, in a situation like that, where you're, you're, you have an, an imminent terror threat, you launch a terror investigation, when senior politicians, whom you believe to be collaborating with people whom you suspect might have had something to do with it, when those senior politicians refuse to have anything to do with your anti-terror crackdown, yeah. does it seem unreasonable to you for the government to say, we will arrest you? Yeah, I mean, I don't see the direct link always uh, that these leading politicians have and take part in these terror threats. That has been said by the government. Um, and uh, everyone who is just questioning uh, the leadership, like Erdogan, uh, is put under that circumstances that they uh, play a part of that. So uh, we have to differentiate in that situation that uh, politicians who fight for Kurdish rights are not already then a part of the terrorist threat or the, the terrorist movement. Good and this we have to uh, uh, differentiate. Good to talk to you. Thank you for joining DW. Thank you, Arthur.